This is Strange Love After Hours. I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Good evening and welcome to After Hours. I'm your host, Gammy Chaos, and as always, I'm joined by Dr. Normal. Hello. And our guest on After Hours this evening is Reed Beals. Hello. How are you, Reed? I'm good. We, uh, oh, and we have a studio audience. Oh, we have a studio audience. A beautiful, Yay. beautiful studio audience. We have a, well, we'll get to the studio audience in a little bit. We made one of the critical errors of of having the tech edition and then having the little break and then after hours which is that we started talking about something really awesome yes it's during true. the break and now if we anyway we start this isn't it's gonna feel like posed but but we were further discussing the trending topics on twitter and the uh tweet scope mm -hmm. seriously yeah we need seriously Seriously, we were discussing how awesome it was that night that we took seriously all the way to the top. Woo! Yeah, and so we need to get the design up, and I was saying we could launch it now, but people said no. Um, Why do you say we can't launch it now? We have the technology. We can build it. I can build it. We don't have a whole bag of Reed AB. You don't need me. You just need the software that's right there, and... It's all fancy pants on his computer. You need to go. I have a I have a photo of someone who shall not be named looking very serious and chin posing. Speaking of which, do we also need to track chin posing? Yeah. It's been no. a, chin posing's been kind of quiet. Yeah, I know it has, but No, I think seriously. I think seriously. seriously. Yeah. It was a very serious cami photo. Hey, I worked very Ser hard oh, on seriously that no, night. No, it's a photo I took of someone. Ah. Is it oh, okay? Yeah, he knows who he is. It's not him. Is it who I think it is? Well, he likes to chin pose a lot. Ah, uh, okay. Well then. And he's in everything. <laughs> he's got his fingers in more pies than you even. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but we don't say his name on the show because. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. His name is Twitter. No. <laughs> <laughs> if we can get Twitter seriously chin posing, I seriously. think that would be very cool. Can you can you uh, do multiple? In your search, could you do multiple hashtags? You can search anything you can search for. Oh, great. At all. So, mm -hmm. so you could do seriously, chin pose, and get off my lawn all in one. How about seriously, get off my lawn? Cause... Yeah, exactly. Or, yes. Both in one mm -hmm. and or or, you know, either way. This is the goods. 140 character hashtag. That's what I'm talking about. Don't make about. the clicking noise oh, in sorry. the microphone. Yeah. I, would get, I would get in a lot of trouble for that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, but I'm busy. Yeah, but if I were to click into the microphone right now, you'd Speaking make that busy. face. It'd be bad. So that clicking no, in the microphone. I'm face? not allowed to. It's uh, it, I get in a lot of uh, trouble when I make bad noises in the microphone. Speaking of busy. Oh look, Doctor Normal. It's the Doctor hey, Normal. Hey everybody. Cam. I'm Normal getting Cam. busy. You see that? This he's is very, me he's being very busy. Proud of that. Then yes. he has like, the Doctor Normal. Lots of camera. technical stuff happening here. Yeah, his devices. Nothing they to just, see. just like multiply like rabbits. See, Only these guys the, are the over here. The Dr. Normal cam is so high-tech and new. <laughs> it is. Exactly. It's the most technologically advanced thing I think it was like Letterman studio. 91 that was doing this. Yeah. And then, oh, look. Oh, there's, there's our studio audience. people over Should there. we have them introduce themselves now before we go any further? We can if we if we want to. We have yeah. a microphone. Okay, I say. Should we? Get the microphone, Fada. All right. We'll start uh, with you. But wait until I turn it on. See, this is me turning, turning it on. the microphone on. <laughs> You're charming, man. And now it's go time? <laughs> this is the oh, cheapest we're camera. We're not starting with him. Oh, okay. I guess we're starting with me. Hi, Amy. Hi. I'm Amy. It's a good time. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kelly. I'm on Twitter as Verso. Wow. Behold the bacon shirt. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I am Fada, uh, or at Uetsu on Twitter. But now we're going to introduce possibly the greatest web personality of all absolutely he's in the dark too Woo! i've he's, always been in the dark he's obscuring his identity yeah it's exactly. the witness protection program I'm, I'm he's seen too much check tunelet for the uh, X, mug the you know the crime CIA drawing guys have to stay in the dark <laughs> it's uh daddy chaos here Woo! <laughs> that's that's big daddy to everyone out there so now I have to clear you, you know, up. You know the. Uh, are you going to say the bit of 
bit of trivia about that? What, about Daddy Chaos? Yeah. Which bit of and trivia? And this show. Well, I have several bits of tri- trivia about Daddy Chaos. First of all, I'd like to clear up, because people often ask if he's actually my dad. Yes, he's actually my dad. Daddy Chaos is my real father. Not like Darth Vader and Luke. He's actually my dad. <clears throat> Cammy Chaos. <laughs> I've known him my whole life. <laughs> Such your feelings. I am your father. I made a toolet. <laughs> <laughs> the second thing is that, yes, my, my father makes a lot of toonlets. And the third thing is, I believe that my father was the first guest ever on Strange of Life. He was. He yeah. was the first guest on Strange of Life. It was for the... Uh, the very first The guest. holiday song contest. He, he made a drunken elf voices. On our, on our, you know, he so did. That, that guy sitting in the dark with his <laughs> hands crossed that you could barely make out. Who looks like he might kill you. He was actually at Beer and Blog. Too. Yeah, we took him to Beer and Blog yeah. today. It was yeah. Take My Daddy to Tech Day. Wow. Yeah. I had to meet the Tunlet guy. He had to meet Craig. Ah. <laughs> uh-uh. Yeah. It goes a long way. I think that's the only reason he's actually in Oregon right now. You have connections with the Tunlet guy. Yeah. So. I was like, dude, you want to meet Craig? I'll hook you up, yeah. Dad. Yeah. I'm a good daughter that way. I think, okay. I think Craig was very happy, too. He looked happy. Yes. Yes. Of course. He likes people using his software. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And it's very and it's cool, fun to use. fun software as well. Let's just plug some stuff. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so Toonlit is awesome. <laughs> Go to the OS Bridge Conference. Yes. And um, book a room. Go to Beer and Blog. Yeah, Kelly makes a good point. Even if you live in Portland... Go for the whole conference experience. Mm-hmm. Come stay at the Hilton with us. Get a us. room. Get a room. We have a hacker lounge <laughs> mm-hmm. on the top floor. 24 hour hacker lounge. 24 hour hacker lounge. You have a 24 hacker, hacker lounge that Strange Love Live will be closing down the last night of the conference yes. with a live episode. Maybe. On like the 23rd floor? No, that one's floor, for sure. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. 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 <laughs> All right, maybe. If we let you know. It's sort of like the magic eight ball. It, it you know, could be at a take. different location, maybe. It's true. Oh. You need, yeah, you need to probably. Man, send I hate emails. it when I'm not in the loop. Um, maybe. It's it called be. the Oregon Liquor Control Commission. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So maybe. We'll, we'll see. Hmm. Well, they're figuring it out. I'm not saying anything Never right now. Never mind what I just said. We're doing some closing doing party some, somewhere. We are doing at, some We're so doing some bridge, party at, at the place. end of Open Source Bridge. At the end Bridge. of Open Source Bridge, there and, will be a party. Correct. And there apparently will be liquor. And there will be Strange Love Live. And there will be Strange Love Live all together. Mm-hmm. It'll be very cool. It'll be good. Hmm. But well. Yeah, stay at the Hilton because... Stay at the Hilton and get, and get a room. And get a room. And get a room. Get a room. But exactly. there'll, there'll be other things Jeez, you that'll kid, be happening sucking, there. Jeez, sucking with, tech in the hallway. There'll be other things that'll be happening there with yes. the Strange of Life. So it's not just that. Well, that won't be Strange of Life. But we'll we'll figure that out yeah. later. Yeah. So we'll have some exciting That's things That's a little going teaser. On. It won't be Strange of Life, but Strange of Life will be involved. We'll see. There yes. you go. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. There will yeah. be a camera, and it might point at Dr. Normal. <laughs> oh, no. you... I don't think that's going to happen. Are you taunting me? Oh, I, it will be is, that camera too. It will be, be the most camera. advanced See, technology you know we the can find. The square has the God Box, but they don't have the little Aaron secret needs, web. Aaron cam needs the secret God advanced. Box. You know that'll be next week, right? Yeah. All of a sudden, it'll be like we need to get we need to get them up with like the much higher resolution internet stream mm-hmm. plus like. All cameras streaming all the time to the web, so you see the thing that they're broadcasting, oh, the boxes. plus all the boxes that you could be seeing, plus the Aaron cam. Note to the square: do that, do that, and, the, and then just have um, awesome. have them sit on a couch and drink beer with their laptops. No, that's my and... no, uh-uh. no, no, <laughs> no. Now you're just being crazy. Indignation. You're just being crazy. <laughs> so that's actually kind of crazy. Crazy talk. Sure. Crazy talk. Okay. Crazy talk. Crazy talk. Yay, crazy talk! Yeah! All right. So I think that we should have a Why little segue here. I think we should I think we should maybe um, head into some drink music so we can tell everyone what yeah. everyone's drinking. Yeah. Why I don't we do think, a different segment and then we'll head into I also the drink think, music? Okay, no, I have a I have a how do we know read segment. Ah. Oh. Let's do that one first. You don't need music for that, do you? Say no. No, I don't need music okay, for good. how do I know read. Good. Okay. I don't. We have... need a production meeting one day. <laughs> actually, we need somebody to actually produce and switch the show. You know what we need? We need a musician that's in here to play drink music for me. And then you can just that's be like... That's a good like, point. Hey, can you play that awesome drink music? Yay. So, how do I know you, Reed? 
I don't know. Um, how do you know me? You do. Beer and vlog? Metro vlogs. Metro vlogs. Ah, yes. Okay. Yes. I was going to say, the Metro vlogs. I remember this. Yes, it goes all the way back to the days of the Metro vlog. The days before the Metro vlog imploded. Yes. That too. In all sorts of... Okay, so anyway, in, anyway. just in Portland, not in the world. Yeah. So yes, Reed and I, I think, started at the same time. Yes, that's right. Yeah, on Metro vlog. Mm -hmm. And then we had authors meetings, and then uh, he and I both stopped writing. <laughs> Well, but yes. we're not gone. And yep, and that's how I know Reed. Yeah, yeah, we had authors meetings. That's when I met Gammy. Yeah, I, I think it was like at Plan B. Or something. It was with the big outside. Well, space. it wasn't Plan B at that point. No, it was, it was something. It was, before that. I, it was Acme, Acme at that point, but now you. it's Plan B. It's been racking my brain what it used to be called before it was Plan B, and now yeah. I know it's Acme. That was a with good the, with the frings. Yeah. I don't Do know they still have the is. frings? What's a fring? I, I mean, I know they now have the bacon wrapped well, hot dogs, with but the not the fries and the onion rings all in the same container, fraternizing with each other. I don't know if I like yeah, that. Yeah, I remember that. that, I, don't was, like, that was, I don't like my food to that fraternize. Was it was glorious. And mm. This is the one I would make an exception for. Fried and fried, it's all the same. No, it's not. Mm. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm really not. I'm going to have to. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to consider it. But yes. Yeah. So. Really seriously, how do you sleep? Yeah, I, I do at times. Um, it, it does happen. Yeah, it's not on a very good schedule, and I keep trying to fix that and failing. You don't do that thing where you like sleep for half an hour and then you're awake for four hours and then you sleep for half an hour. It's a polyphasic. Polyphasic. Sleeping. No, I've never attempted that. Because that's you're just. Not as bad as ego. No, I'm not as bad as Ego. It's yeah. true. He will sleep. He will sleep less than I do. So, uh, you know, give me an estimate. How much do you sleep? Because I always think I don't get enough sleep. I know I get more sleep than you. I usually get about seven hours of sleep, but sometimes four or five. Oh, it, it, it's less than a matter of how much sleep I'm getting and more a matter of when I'm sleeping. Um, Is that seven hours at once? Yes, usually. Okay. But um, it's more a matter of when I'm sleeping. And like, I don't like the sleep schedule where I go to bed at four and wake up at noon. Mm -hmm. But... Um, Occasionally that happens. I, I kind of, if I could get away with that, I would. I mean, I, but. I actually like what it lets me get done because it lets me do like various community things and social mm -hmm. things in the evening and mm -hmm. then go home and get work done while no one is there to distract me. Mm -hmm. And then I can go to sleep and wake up again at noon. But as it long also as you don't go on Twitter. Yes. But it also means that things that I want to get done during the day when all those businesses are open and people are awake mm -hmm. don't happen. Yeah, no. And so I don't like that schedule. Because mm -hmm. of that, and because I like to work with people who have normal sleep schedules. Yeah. So what do we do to fix that? Do we start, like, conking you on the head? Because, yeah. you know, we're not going to get you to bed at a decent hour this evening. That's just not going to happen. It'll be more decent than, you know, many nights this week. Cammy Chaos yeah. is now Reed's mom. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Look. We oh, now know. you're Obama. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Would you like me to tell you to go to sleep? Uh, no. Yeah. Do we need to have words about the sleeping? I'm just curious because we've had so many Portland crazy people with the polyphasic <laughs> sleep. And yes, I do mean you with the polyphasic sleep. Have there been sleep. incidents? <laughs> there been Not lately. Sleep incidents? Not really? lately. Tragic. Uh, hey, look. Tragic those, moments those, those of late wrong. night code those in Portland. Go. There's that whole thing where people, if you sleep too much, if you if you want to sleep, that you're somehow a depressed individual. I like sleeping. I think sleeping is highly underrated. I love to sleep. I am not an unhappy person. I just like sleeping. Yes, I enjoy sleeping. There's definitely that like threshold where it's like I have too many things that I'm trying to worry about to mm -hmm. ever sleep, mm -hmm. and I try to avoid those mm -hmm. a lot. But you know, it happens. Mm -hmm. The peanut gallery. The peanut laughing. gallery. It's their job. Mm. It is, and they behave themselves very well. I got the get your drink out of my microphone look. Yeah, you did. You got the get your drinks. <laughs> so does is, that mean cue the drink music? Yes, please. Okay, so uh, we didn't have a, yeah, we didn't have a production meeting. Um, Do we not have and drink music? We've been like now? working on some new tech, as you may or may not have noticed on the show in the last few weeks. Yeah, we've been working on some stuff. Multiple cameras and various different things. Fancy pants that happen. Um, so I don't have the drink and music. And that queued little up. pretty thing that goes down at the bottom of the screen. It's, it's not there right now. Man. Yeah, you can't point to it. Um, so, later. so I was thinking later, of right two things. 
um, I couldn't grab the drink music off the keyboard, so I was thinking I could just hum it. Okay, why don't you hum it? Or I thought of an even better idea, huh. and that is premiering a potential new candidate for the drink music. <gasps> well, what do you guys think? I, yes. I think yeah, we should go, go there. Yeah. And if it has problems, we will have um, Kelly it's do. Beta. We'll have Kelly do it's, karaoke drink music. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is the, it's beta. It's a bossa hey, nova. After hours is the time for it's beta. It's original. Beta. It's coming soon. And it's coming soon. That's right. very... Oh, you played into that perfectly. Bring it on, babe. So, and if it doesn't work, then you hum. So this is... Um, this is... The, the tune is called Oh Man, She's Really Got It. Oh yeah, I know this tune. Okay, and let's see how it plays out. this will be premiering in just pretty soon on Cool Cocktail Vibes by uh, John Barraza and Doc Normal. Mm-hmm. So, okay. So let's see how this, this goes and then we'll talk about our drinks, huh? Bring it. Yeah, I think we could totally make this the new drink music. I'm familiar think? with the whole song, but this is drinky. Yes, it's it's very tiki, kind of bossa, kind of yeah. Everyone dance. Oh, nice. the peanut peanut gallery enjoying this. I mean, I can hear it really well. Oh, maybe you yeah, should wear they, some headphones, headphones during on. the show. <laughs> you read the memo. So what are we drinking, uh, Cami? Um, why don't you start, Doctor? Um, well, hang on here. Let me get all... Oh, I, I need an extra hand for this, don't I? Yes. I'll just put you it You should there. be an octopus. You can't actually drink it. I should be. <laughs> I'm drinking some cool Spanish <laughs> cava. I, I'm going to guess that was creepy. Yeah, I'm going to guess it. And, uh... Cami Chaos. Cami Chaos, uh, Reed Beals, Amy, and and uh, Yetsu are all drinking Cami Tiki drinks. They're exciting. Only Reed's doesn't have any coconut in it. Yeah. And and why Kelly, no coconut? Because I just don't like coconut. He's not a coconut kind of boy. Oh my word. Yeah. Reed's and uh, and uh, Verso is <coughs> drinking a rock star. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah. And Daddy Chaos is drinking wine. Some wine. <laughs> wine, good. What, what kind, kind of wine? wine? Do you have a mic? No, I don't have a mic. You Would you like mic. a mic? No. Yes. Mic. Maybe. I'm drinking a little Australian red wine. Ah. We'll... A nice Australian red wine. What there kind? you go. It's a uh, nice yellowtail. It's a Shiraz Cabernet mix. That's what I wanted it's to know. Sh- Thank you very much. Yes. Shout Shiraz. out to... Uh, to our Australian podcasting friends, <laughs> who will have one of them. One of them here will be soon. coming here in Portland to Beer and Blog and whatnot. Are we taking him? Does he know we're taking him to Beer and Blog? I don't know. Will uh, he be here June seventeenth? No. <laughs> does he need a room? <laughs> no, he won't be here June seventeenth, and yeah, does he doesn't he... need a room for June seventeenth because he won't be here. Does he need a room slightly before or after? June 17th? <laughs> I, I think he might actually be back in Australia by then. Damn. Yeah. I'll see who else I can lure in now. So I, I think Go. we we can't leave the drink music theme without talking about the drinks we had last night. Oh boy! I should get the close up on you. Oh yeah. Yes. The testimonial. Last night we had a business meeting with some. Yeah right. <laughs> it was oh, wait, businessy. Wait, wait, hang on, Conga Solo. That would be me, by the way. Actually, you're supposed to get up on the coffee table and dance, right? I don't have my swingy skirt exactly. on. I have the right dress for it, and I don't have a coffee table. Right. And this thing? Not a yeah, coffee. no, this is not <laughs> not going to work. Yeah. Okay. So okay. you had a business meeting? So we had a business meeting with, with some people that everybody knows and loves. And yeah, sort of. Whatever. We decided the place that we were at was too loud for us to actually conduct our business and talk. That's right. So we decided we would go elsewhere. We tried to go to Billy Bang's. Because we wanted tiki drinks, and it was very nearby where we were. And we got there, and freaking Billy closed. Was closed. It was closed for construction or something. I have no idea why they were closed. But they we were just no not idea. open. And so we decided to be adventurous and cross the river and go over to Thatch. Go to the never, legendary Thatch. We'd never been. None of us. The four of us, neither, none of us had ever been Shout to Thatch Shout out to before. at DJTV on Twitter. Mm-hmm. And so we went and... Because we were there and there were four of us, we had to have the volcano bowl. Well, we were all sitting there looking at the menu and it's like, should we get the Mai Tai or the zombie or the fog cutter and all those, you know, yeah. oh, what do you do? And the, t-, you know, and I'm like, guys, we're a group here. 
look at the bottom item. It's the flaming volcano. That's you what to have, you, you get. have to have three people drinking it in wow. order to order it. I think that's a law. Well, that's a lot. And of, trust me, it's like it's you want four booze. people to drink it. <laughs> it's like whoa. Yeah, there was a lot of. So they bring it out. It was all on fire. Thing. So it was in a tiki bowl, and it was. And on, it's always impressive when someone brings you fire. something on fire. Yeah. Yeah. I was, we should do that more often. Yeah, I, I thought there was some like. I love fire. I didn't think flaming drinks. Fire! Fire! fire actually, fire, was served fire, in Oregon. Did it have to go out before <laughs> you started drinking it? Yes, it was okay. out before we started drinking it. Because. Some states allow flaming drinks, like, after. Some states, like, allow you to be handed a flaming Wait a drink. Minute. And, and you can drink don't. it when it's on flames. Wait a minute. At some point, the flame has to go out. No, but, So okay. you can drink it, Reed. The point, the point is, some states... <laughs> this is flaming the, drink etiquette. Yes. The OLCC <laughs> law state. Okay, at some point... Okay, in some states, you're actually allowed to be served a drink while the drink is on fire. Yeah, yeah. It was on fire. Okay. Yeah. But not when we were actually consuming it. Yeah. No. Well, no, but there was a little fire in the middle, though. Ah, okay. See, that's the thing. You get the little fire. And you guys were sticking the straws in the fire. Okay, only two of us were doing that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's kind of like you guys. And the other two of you were like, oh, you're going to poison us with your plasticky Ex flame. Exactly. Stop it. Stop it. Which only made us want to do it more. Yeah, exactly. Because I noticed that. We're Henri. Henri girls. What are you going to do? Yeah. Uh -oh. Is that a question or a vote? It's the a mic. question. The it's a mic. vote for me to make more uh, flaming drinks minute, that come Congress in a Olaf. bowl. More dancing. You don't have Hang a on. microphone more yet. Dancing. There's... There's more dancing involved. Okay. Are you dancing? Hey, this is a pretty sweet conga solo. <laughs> if you do say so yourself. If you do. It might be. Okay. Two things from the chat room. The first and the most important is why it is that Reed has knowledge of <laughs> Flaming drink laws and how they vary from state to state. He's a very smart person. I want to know if he has um, knowledge of flaming cheese laws. <laughs> Saga, Saga, Saganaki. Saganaki. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and second is, and uh, baked Alaska. I want to know about these things, Reed. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. The second is uh, it's been a long time since uh, the Strange Love Live segment. Drunk Dial Steve's Wrong has uh, taken place, and people are wondering if that's true. going to make a triumph and come back. So, well, no. you know, those are the two from the chat room. That, I'm doing my duty. That actually, my work here is done. Maybe we that might be closer than that. you think. Yeah. Yeah, Read we laws of fire. We're we're, fire we're interested in why you know. So, um, yes. the reason I know this is because I helped out with a friend who was opening a bar a couple of years ago, and read a lot of liquor laws and talked a lot about liquor laws. And somewhere in that discussion came up the, there's some drink that this person liked. Spanish, that, Spanish coffee? No, no, no. This oh. was a drink that it was like a flaming shot that you should like stick a straw in and consume while it was on fire. And you have to drink it fast enough that the straw doesn't collapse while melting. Wow. Um, and the fact was that we couldn't serve those because um, you weren't allowed to serve drinks that were on fire in the state of Oregon. Um but that's not true because you can get Spanish coffee and. I but by the time stuff. your Spanish coffee is given to you, it's, I think not, it's not something flaming. about yeah, you're right, yeah, exactly. You're right. By the time you get Spanish coffee, it's not flaming. And <laughs> do you, do you get yeah. this feeling that we just got a bar in trouble? That's you know? why I kept yeah. trying to tell you that it was out before we drank it. It was no, yeah. it, it was. was out before we drank it. Yeah. Because he just poured the drink in and that put the flames out and then just you're like allowed a to Spanish have it. Coffee. Yeah, that, that's how yeah. It, you will usually work. As opposed to like having. Wait, that wait. wait. <laughs> Fine, Daddy Chaos. Then we can't take you there next time you're in town. Well, what was weird, and and you know, I mean, the crazy thing is, th there was a shooting that was like ten or so blocks down Broadway that yeah. same time That's that nice. night. We luckily were up higher, but you know, Lloyd yeah. Center and all that. Yes, I got place. home to my mom it's, saying, yeah. "I'm glad you're not yeah, dead." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, as we were driving uh, home, you know, it's like, oh, why is Broadway blocked off by every cop in Portland? Oh, so what fine. you're saying is you don't know about the flaming cheese laws. I don't know about the flaming cheese laws. I... Or the baked Alaska. No, though I like flaming cheese and baked mm -hmm. Alaska. Mm -hmm. Are there any other weird laws that you know about that you want to share with us tonight? Um, yeah. In terms of liquor laws, liquor stores, because... No, oh, well, like anything that comes to mind. I'm well, interested no, no, but it's in the liquor interesting. laws. Did you like, ever work at a liquor store? Freaky. This this, be because awesome. the OLCC wants it essentially to be as hard as possible to run a liquor 
store as possible, even though they make money from it and run them as franchises. Mm -hmm. Um, Not only are there maximum numbers of hours that your liquor store has to be open each day and each week, there are minimum numbers of hours that your liquor store has to be open each week. And they all vary, like, per day, and it's like... So essentially, you can't have a 24-hour liquor store, and you also can't have a liquor store that opens once a week for your friends to come buy cheap booze. Nor can you have a liquor store that is closed. No, nor <laughs> can you have a liquor store that's just your stock of liquor that you claim mm-hmm. is a store. Which No, that's called a Portland restaurant. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Um, speaking of, Port- speaking of <laughs> Portland restaurants and missing liquor, we tried to go to Jack's Bar the other day mm-hmm. and found that they were rather missing. Um, like, mm-hmm. closed yeah. as near as we can tell permanently. Hmm. We were down there and... Yeah. I hate it when you show up at a place because you want to go there and then they're All just the chairs were gone. on the tables. There was a for lease sign and all the booze was gone. Oh, man. That poor booze. And the other day I walked past another restaurant that was apparently closing because they had a, like, lean taped to their door uh, by their landlord. And the owner and someone else was carting out large pallets mm. of booze. So that's apparently what happens when you close a restaurant. I'm you thinking, take all the booze. I'm thinking the economy is very... Difficult on the on the restaurants, but at least they get to keep all that booze. It's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yes, Cammy. <laughs> random liquor laws and other random randomness laws. Um, non liquor. Yeah, so, so, did you guys know it's so illegal you know to make s- a pastry reproduction of the White House? Really? Yeah. Now I want oh, to do geez. it. I know. Yeah. It's very exciting. Are you adding this to your list of superpowers? Okay. No, this is happening. What if it's like potatoes? Hey, that might. I just know what I learned in my government out. class in high school. So, Oh, wait, wait that's impressive. I'm, I'm going to put that on the camera. Like that and it's considered a terrorist <laughs> act. It is a terrorist act because you're using it to plant. So, so, so you're demonstrating that, like, it, it's really a performance piece showing the destruction of the White House as you eat it. So that's actually the problem. You should be able to produce it, but it should never be able to be consumed because mm. that would be, like, showing that you are a terrorist. Um, does the gravy make it more or less So terrorist? does that mean... More. Does that mean if you had like a a cake for the Fourth of July and it was the American flag that then you could not eat that cake? Yeah, you shouldn't burn it either. Because though, <laughs> anecdotally, what if I was trying nice. to bake a cake and I accidentally burned it before the frosting was on? Yeah, see, I think you're allowed to like <laughs> destroying the flag isn't actually illegal. The um, it's just discouraged. Yes, no, no. The um, <laughs> speaking of the Fourth of July, the um, <laughs> they have those little the fireworks that have. Um, there was a firework that we purchased at one point. Was it legal in the state of Oregon? It was legal in the state of Oregon. It was a boring little novelty firework by all other regards. But at the end of it, it's supposed to have this American flag that pops out of the middle. And when the American flag pops out of the middle and it's on fire, that's even better. Yeah, it was... It sounds like hot fun. So, yeah, it was supposed to be flame retardant. The next one, we bought another one to see if this was a common problem, and that one, the American flag, didn't light on fire, but... You just got lucky the the, first time? The first time, it was... Yeah. Good times. Also, in the weird laws file, Ashland, I believe Ashland, (laughs) Oregon, still has a law I need music for this. This Welcome to Weird Laws. Yes. I'm trying to hear the Weird views. Ashland Law. Ashland was the first place in Oregon I ever visited, so okay. you should. Ah, yes. I, I grew up in Ashland. Well, it's, it's like Middle yeah. Ages. It's like they're not, you know, Shakespearean law or something. Yeah. No, no, no. But, but you see, Ashland, you. Ashland has this thing where it attracts, um, especially during in, in the 60s, attracted a lot of hippies. And, uh, Freaking hippies. Still on the books is the, um, you are not allowed to sell statues of wizards or crystals in the city of Ashland. Really? Yes. This is a law that if any, if they ever had time to enforce, which they explicitly tell... I they bought don't. crystals in Ashland. Yeah, yeah. Th- th- they're pretty common. <laughs> Does it upset the actual wizards in Ashland? What? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. They, they wanted to drive the hippies away they in the 60s the when they the passed it. And if, if, if anyone ever enforces this and it's ever questioned, it would be <laughs> struck down as being unconstitutional. But so, sadly, it's... So Reed is a blue laws kind of expert not then. really just not really ashland yeah. and a he little just bit has of booze random information wow. <laughs> and a tiki drink <laughs> and a tiki drink yeah with a jetpack there's yeah. a jetpack on my tiki that's mug. my robo tiki mug i really like the robo i love tiki that guy there's a zoom yeah. you, you got it right there you oh yeah so it off on the tiki mug that is a robot mm-hmm. tiki, robot tiki. Mm-hmm. i think i got that for my 30th birthday it's very cool yeah. from your daughter yes yes I think so. <laughs> Wonderful. Even Isn't that true? Even better. <laughs> Is it wrong that my daughter buys me tiki mugs? Yes. Oh, No, okay. not no! when they're this cool. <laughs> Robot tiki is exempt from all. 
Hey, uh, yeah, what that's you... what I wanted. Yeah, weren't you discussing exemption earlier with the karaoke? Um, and Zoe? Yes. Kelly, you might... I feel it's this like requires a... some kind of mention. Yeah. yeah. It's true. Were we having language no. so, exemptions? No. Hold on, um, Ke- I Dr. Normal. Can yeah. we get Kelly's mic on? Actually, I... So what it was was that uh, Betsy brought her daughter... Yeah. Well, yeah. Let's do some background. This evening's okay. beer and blog was not at the Green Dragon. It was End Awkwardness. End Awkwardness. At, at Cube Space. Which is a great place to end awkwardness. And, it yeah. is. And Bearlessness by and, Strange Love Live. And, yes. yes, End Bearlessness by Strange Love Live. End Winelessness by RPDX. Yeah. End yeah. Awkwardness by uh, Cube Space and the beer and blog. And, uh, and in order to end this awkwardness, we had karaoke. Yes. But and and uh, Betsy, the fearless leader of our PDX, uh, not only brought wine, but brought her daughter Zoe, who's a fan of rock band, and as a result of, of spending a lot of time playing things like Guitar Hero and Rock Band, has developed a healthy appreciation for a lot of songs older than her, which is more than you can say about a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And today, at and Awkwardness, she sang Crazy Train. Oh yes, that Crazy Train. Not the Pat Boone version. <laughs> We're just going to leave it at that. And so then later this evening... Uh, she came up to me and said, I thought I would put in and sing ABBA. Do you think that's okay? And I said, Zoe, you sing Crazy Train and you're 10. You can do whatever you want. And that basically became, you know, her sort of rule was, yeah, you can do whatever you want. And in fact, the other thing she did, she did. She sang Dancing Queen for everybody to our delight. She also sang Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. And uh, Touch Me. I think and, yeah. I think she needed to and sing the Microsoft Songsmith version of Crazy Train, <laughs> the which, otherwise known as the Crazy Train Polka, which she probably which I don't think I have a recording here. That was episode she, number or whatever. She probably would have enjoyed that too. Yeah. And uh, anyway, so that was the other thing was she also she got a beer and blog button and hacked it with a little strategic piece of tape up at the top so that mm-hmm. she was actually attending root beer and blog, yeah. which was phenomenal so basically that's what it was was uh you did crazy train so now you can do whatever you want yeah yeah that was the rule we got to see the beer and blog buttons i think they brought them last week but it was the first time that uh, dr normal and i got to see And you're now wearing them i am i'm wearing two of them i'm very fancy dr normal has one on too yeah yeah i'm all what what do you call it cut to the camera flash no flare flare i have flare flare. i have flare. flare yes yeah i do i have fancy fancy flare i'm very excited i'm all yeah Although I feel like I should have Halloween time now, though. I just realized. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's all orange and black, and it's getting me excited for October. So, in, in a in an odd twist. Yes. For Strange Love Live. Yes. I feel like asking, what's going on in the chat room? What is going on in the chat what? room? But that's a lot. A twist. new feature. Yeah, it. He, he's not. He's he's going crazy with. He, the he doesn't odd really twist. often. I mean, aside from my psychic. Ability to participate in the chat room from here. Yeah, I know, and That's you're doing really re- quite well. You've been chatting quite, quite a lot. So what's going on? A lot of really interesting things. Thanks. Yeah. What's going on in the chat room there, Amy? It might be me, maybe. But what else is going on in the chat room? Oh, Aside from you know you. what? I, I, Brom yeah. Patoyo is about to go to bed. Oh, good night, wait, Brom. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, yes, no. exactly. Is, what time is Should it? Should we sing exactly. him a lullaby? 11.35. That's before midnight, and Brom Patoyo's going to bed. No, did you see my retweet of, he is an of him? Did he put it on Twitter? That he was t- tired? Because I'm not sure if he puts it on Twitter. No, he it did. It won't actually be true. Oh, he, he did. I retweeted it, uh, and I said, retweet, mark the time and the date that he said, I'm tired, I need to go to bed, or something like that. I retweeted it, put in, mark the time and date, everyone, you know. Wow. da 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 Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. and as he pointed out, it was the first time he'd ever put tired in a tweet. That was the other day. Wow. wow. But normally, it's You're like, I'm coming to a meeting. Tweet. No, that was a while ago. He, he's thing. commonly used the fainting on after hours mm-hmm. to declare going to bed. But I got yeah. I gotta oh. ask, how many of you say goodnight to Twitter and the Twitterverse before you go to bed, or is that just me? I do. If, if I've been on Twitter, well, if I'm on Twitter, sleep. I say goodnight. Only if I'm bitter about how late I'm going to bed. Mm. <laughs> or think it will be perceived as you know something noteworthy if i'm going to bed after like dawn has woken up mm-hmm. um which is usually about 5 a.m yeah she, I think it was, yikes well she was on That's... she was on the east coast recently and so i remember i was going to bed and she had just woken up and made some comment about like 
um, seeing After Hours tweets as she yeah. woke up on the East yeah. Coast. That, that, um, that kind of sucks really when you're unfortunate. like, when you're yeah. tweeting your your local friends who you know are on business trips in the East Coast, they're like, oh, I'm away. Yeah, I'm drinking coffee. That's great. And you're like, oh, God, how late. I should up, sleep. You know? Or or when they're international friends too. Yeah. Speaking of international <clears throat> friends, it's my Martin's birthday. Oh. Okay. It's Martin Kelly's birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Martin. It's not his birthday in England anymore, but it's still his birthday here for twenty minutes. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Uh we don't have birthday music cued. No, but that's I, I, okay. I'm okay with that. We I, can listen to some more Bossa you know, Nova. <laughs> if we if we sing to him he'd just have to drink do, 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 himself a into a stupor. Yes, exactly. Yeah. We could yeah. make that happen live no in the studio you. okay i want to know some more of the stuff that reed's been working on but i want to know the crazy okay. stuff that reed's been working on and i want to hear about his photographs. this is the 60 minute segment uh well, start well, sweating well we only have 20 minutes left of our 60 minute segment so well, let's then. go no, no no i mean 60 minutes like 60 minutes like oh, click 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 i get ed it bradley did you ever notice reed, reed i can't sweating. i can't do can you do yeah. an ed bradley did you ever notice that calligator doesn't stop people from <laughs> scheduling events on a wednesday it's wednesday dumbass pick another day <laughs> exactly See, I told you this was going to take off. What are you, retarded? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Oh. It would work out really well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really do believe that it should be more hostile. When I was working as a barista, I found that people gave me better tips when I was mean to them. You know, that must be the secret of the side of Surly at Side Door. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Some people just like the, they like yeah. the punishment. You might have to go and explain that now. Yeah, but we do well, need the... Um... There's Surly and there's Surly and Cute. I yeah. think this falls more under Surly. But... Oh, okay. But yeah. Don't call me Surly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will. Okay, no. But yeah, other things? I'm... Give me information. Give you information? I don't know what else I'm working what on. What super secret projects are you working on? Yes. Go! Yeah. Tell us all your secrets, <laughs> Mr. Beans. <laughs> but they're super secret projects. Damn. Um, S-E-E-K-R-I-T. If you hadn't told him that they were a secret, he might have told us. Yeah, but now I know. No, um... Knows not to tell us about the pastry white house he's building. Yeah. Well, the pastry white house. Um, a while ago, there was that discussion of getting together people for bake camp. I don't know where that went, but if bake camp happens, the pastry white house needs to happen there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Baked goods. Yeah, I'm trying not to have too many super secret projects right now because. Um, this is Portland. Nothing is really secret. No, no, it's not the secret part. It's just the oh, okay. more projects <laughs> part. Um, <laughs> Attempt. People that's, tell me I shouldn't be doing this many things at once. That's fair. But, I had to like edit the list of stuff to to um, remember because I was like, I will not be able to remember everything that Reed is doing. My wait, brain Reed, cannot yeah. hold that. If an event happens in Portland and you're not here, did it really happen? Yes, it did. <laughs> there, there, there have been several. A few? I, a few. I, I've been to stuff and not seen him. Yeah. Yeah. It's beer that's required. Oh. No, not even that. No, there's not always beer at Portland Tech events. Well, well Reed is... Then they're not Portland Tech events. You have to have Reed or beer. Reed is yeah. required, but he projects the events from a distant location. Perhaps. But there. There you go. There are times when even I leave town or... I'm thinking this is all things. fodder for fake Twitter accounts to be tweeting <laughs> snarky no, things at Portlanders. Back. Well, we do have a Twitter account that's supposed to be tweeting snarky things at Portlanders, but we haven't gotten enough snarky authors for it. So mm. if you're interested in being a snarky author... Um, Can you tell us what that... Um, yes, it is the PDX Snark account. Oh, okay. Uh, you nice. can, uh, that sounds like a nice one. Send, send, there is a PDX yes, snark send us. So yeah, DM PDX Snark if you feel like being a snarky author and we might be able to get something Well, going. the problem is then that PDX Snark has to follow you. Well, we could probably work better. Okay, follow PDX Snark. You know, or snark. at PDX Snark. That might work out well, you know. Or, or contact yeah. me or Amy or anyone else. That you think might here. be really snarky. Yeah. And might be yeah. part of the PDX here. Snark. And they might have, you know close friends that might you know somehow have connections yes connections are good we like connections Mm mm-hmm definitely it's connected we are um but aside from the snarkiness um let's see here (laughs) chaos um one project that i'm kind of hoping to get started is an effort to get rid of outdated not get rid of but like flag outdated information online Mm -hmm. so like you're looking at something that that tells that tells you something for example technical documentation often falls into this category of like Mm -hmm. this was for version 0.6 and we're in version 3.5 now but this is still the thing that comes up first on google when i search for this thing yeah that makes me finding a way to like mark and annotate saying this is 
outdated and then distribute that out to other people who are browsing through like some kind of an extension could be really cool and that's one project that i've been kind of me talking about for a while would that be a like a firefox plugin or something like a browser plugin yeah or something, something? It, it would be yeah. like a plugin and a service and work together and do or would thing. it just be a service so that like throws a big know. piece of bacon over this website <laughs> the <laughs> baconator it would kind of behave similar to like the um like malware it's and phishing detection therapy. stuff oh, in browsers right. but yeah the, the big slab of bacon could be an optional mode. It could just be like, you don't want to see this. Look at the bacon instead. Yeah. <laughs> the bacon. No. Like the unicorns. And like, yeah, like. That's the other good project. Yes. What's the unicorn oh, project? The, the unicorn project isn't my project. But oh. um, the, there does exist on the internet, Cornify, which is a website that gives you a bookmarklet, <laughs> which allows you to click this bookmarklet and add unicorns. and. Oh, I don't think that has anything to do with unicorns. To sir. any <clears> website. <throat> whatever. Oh. Boy. Exactly. Could you just say that? What, what's that site again? No, don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> what's it called? Cornify. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, in fact. There. But no. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I didn't get your reaction there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, how many how many websites do you own? <laughs> not many, honestly. You're not a hoarder of websites. No, though if anyone has a good use for swashbuckled.com, That's what made me I'm think trying to, ask to you. get nice. rid of this domain because I don't I haven't found anything to use it for, and I'd much rather give it to one of you than like I know a talking? band here in southeast Portland that may want that. Well, they domain. have they've got Edel Lime and Captain Bog and Salt. They, but still, they still they still might want it. It's, it. it was a D, so it's the past tense of swashbuckle. Mm -hmm. But still, um I haven't found a good properly piratey use for it in the several years that I've owned the domain and would much rather see it go to a good cause than to have it be keywords about pirates. All they got to do is their next yeah. next CD is called Swashbuckled. Bam. Get yeah. the domain. Rock and roll. Yeah. Go to the brother on Maybe Twitter. Michael Steele could use it. Michael Steele. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> do you have the... So read, Kelly got that joke. Do you have the, 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 have the mic to explain that I don't joke? I have a band, no. Okay, see, that's so Bada, can you know. hand Daddy Chaos that mic? Because we, Some, we're hand somebody for a mic. Exactly. All right. Please. We're, Please. we're looking for an explanation here. We're not understanding. Yes. You're not understanding what? Over my head. You said Michael Steele. Do you know who Michael Steele is? No, over yes. my head. Michael Steele is the uh, Republican National Committee. Oh, oh that, guy. that Chairman. Michael Steele. I thought okay. we were talking and about some sort of like lately, pirate band or something. He's kind of swashbuckled himself. Uh -huh. Okay. Because he uh, went on, I believe it was uh, CNN the other day. And In pirate pants? And no, he wasn't. He was, was a puffy shirt. Oh, yeah, he, was, he, he had a puffy shirt, but he wasn't in complete pirate garb. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, and wow. and he was explaining all of his uh, recent uh, exploits with Rush Limbaugh and um, uh, any number of other. Welcome to little, the Strange Love Live political little, hour. Little things <laughs> that he's done, and uh, he said that. All his actions were very well planned. Wrong, like, Daddy Chaos. Wrong. Uh, yes, it's the, <laughs> he, he it's had, the really I meant wrong. to do that. Yeah. Yeah. All his actions. Eleanor were Clift, planned. what say you? Whether I meant to do that, so it doesn't look so or bad. Or however you describe it, he has rebranded the meaning of the word "gaff" now so yeah. to mean strategic planning. See, whatever I did, that's what I meant to do. Yeah. I, I just want to Mistakes mention that if Michael happen. Steele is swashbuckling. <laughs> Then Rush Limbaugh is his Jolly Roger. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> Good night, everybody. Exactly. And that's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. And Thank you. I'll be here all week. I'll be back for the 1030 show. <laughs> exactly. Oh, look, all the Only Republicans left the chat. Right? Oops. Yeah. Oops. No. Tip the veal. Use your waitresses. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Did you say tip the veal and eat your waitresses? Try. Oh, Okay. I, I, tip I, the veal, try your waitresses. Don't forget to tip over your waitress. Yeah. Cow tipping, that's popular in Iowa. Yeah. All so right. I think, we, <laughs> read, I think we've lost feet. control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Read, yeah. Yeah. Read, read, bring, bring us back around, bring us back please. Back around. Swashbuckled! <laughs> swashbuckled. If anyone has a good use for swashbuckled, please Let contact me. Reed Beals. Yeah. He'd, he'd like it to go to a good home. home. I do not want domain squatters putting pirate keywords on this domain, but... I also don't want to personally put pirate keywords on this domain. So, really? Mm. Well, and he also doesn't want to pay for it anymore. So it's true. You have forty. So you don't days. want to make money with it, but you don't days. want to pay with it. Oh. Well, I mean, I'd like to make money with it, but I don't think I'd actually make good money with it. 
and yeah. thus I, you have 42 days you could create your own set of pirate porn and and put it up there i could um this has been suggested um <laughs> lol trains lol trains train porn etc could all go along well, with the well, train porn and the pirate porn lol yeah. pirates lol pirates lol pirates this is okay. all true i want your domain if we want to make lol pirates <laughs> let's do it okay Tell yeah. lol pirates, what? all right lol pirates i can has no scurvy <laughs> <laughs> i can has stress yeah. i can has lime yes mm-hmm. I really feel like there will be I can't have rum on there at some point. <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. I can't. I can't. My rum is gone. Okay. Invisible tiki drink. Show's I, over. I can't have rum. I can't have booty. Why is the rum always gone? See, I don't, no, that's don't you where stop this is going that? to go. He really hates it when I make the slurpy straw noise. But he was this. making the clicking noise. I know. Earlier. It's, yeah, it's I did. a double standard. That was that was a first, by it's the way. It's a double standard. Okay, I, I officially made a pitch that. Okay. Uh, he doesn't have a straw with his drink. Otherwise. I wonder why. So before because we totally go kava? off the rails. Yeah, because if you oh, had haven't? a straw with kava, we haven't gone off the rails yet. We haven't gone off the rails, and what kind of rails? And is it train Ruby porn? rails? Yeah. Train porn? Train porn. Train porn. So discuss train porn. Are you involved? I'm not lol deeply trains, involved, involved in train porn or lol trains. Though Aaron launched lol trains already, slacker. Um, yeah, really, seriously, I remember... I can't lol remember. Trains, I can't remember what trains. what we were at, but it was at Cube Space and in the room, and we were discussing the train porn and then the lol trains. And you got the thing, and it's been almost a year. Could you just get off of your butt? We know you don't do anything else. You're not busy. No. Lol he, trains. He he has nothing else to do. Could you just get on that already, Aaron? You probably do this one during one of those meetings that you're forced to sit through. Yeah. yeah. I think Jarvatron in the chat room had it. Good when he asked, you know, what uh, suggesting maybe the air is getting thin in the room Wanted here. Want to know what's being pumped in? <laughs> exactly. Okay, we, we're we're in trouble if he's seeing that. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. He was like, oh. Yeah. I have something worthwhile to mention. What? On Sunday. On <laughs> oh, Sunday. Very good. Yeah. Sunday. 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 On Sunday Speaking at the Muddy bar. Rudder on Belmont. Muddy Rudder? Isn't am I Water? wrong? No, the Muddy Rudder is is what? down here off Tacoma. What am I? Where am muddy I? Muddy Waters Coffee. House. Oh, Muddy Waters. I Thank got you. confused because of the muddy. I'm sorry. On oh, on Sunday at six <clears throat> o'clock until eight o'clock at Muddy Waters on Belmont. 29th and Belmont. 29th and Belmont. There is going to be a champagne and calendar signing party for like the champagne. Get Naked for a Cause calendar. And we're all going to get naked, right? And what time is this? Six to eight p.m. Is it on Calligator? It should be on Calligator. I don't I know if it so. is. I'm not the one who's putting it on the calendar. I'm just going to go there with my Sharpie and sign things. Somebody get there on the Calligator. Make yeah. sure it happens. Yeah, um, Robin, Wendy, someone. So if it's, it a, on if it's on upcoming in Portland, it gets scraped yeah. from, down no. the Calligator, right? No, oh, no. You have to tell it. See, there's no automatic magical calendar really? scraping going oh. on. Mm-hmm. There, there is. You can go to upcoming and you can get a bookmarklet from Calligator that mm-hmm. is the add to Calligator bookmarklet. And you can just go to any upcoming page and click the button and it'll go okay and go okay. into calligator but there's someone's no got to do that fa- there are no magical fairies that do recurring imports there used to be but there should we be a calligator them. fairy uh there should be but we her had her name to... can be shep yes but we had to fire her a three stooges not doing her job well enough. <laughs> shep so she might come back at some point but at the moment oh, that was shemp i'm sorry yeah <laughs> So thought I saw him at Beer and Block. So somebody get that on Calligator, and if you're going to be around on Sunday and you want to have a bunch of uh, geeks who posed semi-nude for a calendar, sign their photos. But naked. Inside the calendar? Inside the calendar. Hardcore yeah. porn. Really? My dad is over there, and I'm well, in the calendar. Point. Well, it was just the Kelly. Gonna raid the place anyway. <laughs> it wasn't anybody else. It was just <laughs> Kelly posing for the hardcore porn. <laughs> Yeah, that's there. X nay on that. <laughs> I know, I know. That's the disturbing <laughs> on our floor. part. It's like, it's like, um, I'm just getting ready for the show because there's a lot to do before the show <laughs> it's rolls. It's a show night. And yeah. the whole point now of... here comes Cammy. Take off your pants. Exactly. Okay, bye. Well, it didn't look right with the pants. It's not my fault that the pants didn't look right. Oh. Uh, again, what are they pumping in that room? <laughs> <laughs> No, I seriously, think... you're going to have, you know, people seriously. from... Seriously. 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 Which seriously. camera am I talking Seriously. Seriously. 
I think gonna... I actually did have that. I had that graphic last time when we did Seriously? not by South by Southwest, and I have the screenshots of Seriously being on the top of Twitter. Good. Yes. Yeah. But seriously, if you're around and you want to get the calendar signed, <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Come hang out. On, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. No. 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 Seriously. Uh, now what is it? Lean on in. Seriously. <laughs> Come and get a calendar. Come and get us to sign the calendar. There's going to be a. a I, I'm assuming everyone who is in the calendar will be there, but I know that, you know, at least uh, Versa be will be there. Media Chick will be there. Uh, Aaron Hockley, who photographed several of the, the, the pages. Seriously, I want to see his month. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I meant to ask Craig if he was going to be here, because Craig and Seth from Toonlit have yeah. a, are one of the months as well. That's right. December. And Dr. Normal and I will be there. Yeah. Dr. Normal did not take off his clothing in the calendar. Is it Craig the porn star or just Craig? Um, no, just Craig. It was before was... the porn star name oh, okay. became clear to him. <laughs> yeah. Did it appear in a dream? How did he? How did he? I don't know how he learned about the porn star. Let's. But that's a good thing. While we're here and the air is thin and we you know, talking about people being naked, let's go and do our porn star names. <laughs> uh, before we do that, though, one that? one. <laughs> well, we could. Yeah, actually, we could. Uh, uh, they're, they're, yes. Um, and I'll dial that yeah. up right now. Um, yeah. But I do have one question, one slight bit of a real order. question. Yeah, content. So if you're putting in events in oh, the okay. shared calendar, you should just go put it into upcoming and Caligator, or what's the best recommendation? Well, okay. See, everyone should just be using Caligator and nothing else. But we well, know yes, of course. Because, we truly we know this. There are some things that we are missing, and that people have requested, and that we're working on getting in. But um, the Easiest workflow right now, if you want it in both places, is to add it to upcoming and then click the button to import it into Caligator. And ah, okay. That is the easiest way to do it. And you do the import yourself then? Yes, you do the import yourself, Excellent. like a responsible okay. tech citizen. Um, otherwise, we have some people who, even though we occasionally tell them not to, because we think they're that no one will do it if they keep doing it. Mm. I'm one of these people who gets told this often. Stop it. Um, <laughs> to, <laughs> Who will go through upcoming and say, this looks like a tech event, this looks like a tech event, and import them all. So we kind of have magical Caligator elves, but... Um, I noticed that when you're talking about yourself, you call yourself an elf and not a magical Caligator fairy. I wasn't actually intentional, <laughs> but... Very nice, Ken. But It's you know. true. Earlier it was the Caligator fairy, and now it's the Caligator elf. Yeah. I e eBay, steel trap. eBay used to have elves. If yeah. you want to go on other tangents. Um, eBay used to, in their help documents, explain... Yeah. explain um, explain how proxy bidding worked by like you tell this elf how much you were willing to pay and it goes and makes bids for you just as that metaphor uh and then it got removed i think i, I wrote like a that. blog post about the decline of the elf a long time ago yeah i've never purchased anything on ebay well maybe it's because i'm elfist no that doesn't sound right <laughs> i'm just gonna leave that one alone let's go uh who seriously wants... snoopy toledo seriously <laughs> who Who's Snoopy Toledo? Jarvatron in the chat room. Oh, nice. That's Snoopy good to know, Toledo. Wow. Does this mean I cue the the? Yes, the cue the porn star music because Cat we're. Music? So in case okay, anyone listen. doesn't know, in order to get your porn star name, you take your first pet. Do we have someone who's pulled up the application? And so the name we... of the street that you lived on, as a child. So who would like this to go like first? This is like creepy porn music, but that's okay. No, it's not. This isn't porn music. What? No, no, no. It. it... Wait till you hear the head. Okay. <laughs> That's what <laughs> That's she said. What she said. Yeah. All right. Da, da, da. Who wants so are we going in the audience? Or? Yeah, let's start in the audience. Let's Who wants to audience. do their porn okay. name first? So your your first pet's name and the street that you lived on as a child. Someone grab a microphone. Grab the mic. That's grabbing the mic. All right. What's your Back porn? row first. No. Oh. Mine is so entirely boring. It's George Community. George <laughs> Community. That's good. I like that. It's better yeah. than George Community it's Garden. It's, it sounds like I should be on the city council. Exactly. If, 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 if there was a porn film about a really boring city council, that would be my name. Wow. Okay, Daddy Chaos. <laughs> this is the funny one. You wrote a tunelet about this. Well, I actually no. did too. And, and trust me, you know what? Just... Your, your identity's safe because you're so in the dark. Do you want to come yeah. up into the light a little bit? Or... <laughs> Nobody will ever know anyway. But exactly. yeah, actually, the uh, the first one turned out to be a cross-dresser named Jane Ann Davis. Yes. 
or 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 a political activist or from the poli- 70s. Yeah, yeah. No, not Angela Davis. <laughs> I'm sorry. I did a woman with an afro. Who's no, in I had no afro. I just, <laughs> okay. you know. Okay. Sorry. Well, you said and, there was another one. Yeah, there was another one that you know because there were some new rules applied in Tunlip. So oh, okay. You can choose okay a pet and a street name. Oh. So I chose. Sam Adams. <laughs> knowing, knowing where I was, by the way. All right. As opposed to. Okay. All right, pass no, it up no, to the girls. Right. No, I knew where I was. That yeah, is really lame. Okay, sorry. Share with us. Snowy Boardman. That is not lame. Actually, Snowy that's Boardman. Awesome. That one's good. <laughs> that's like Susie Chapstick. That's awesome. That one's good. That's awesome. Snowy Boardman. See, again, well, I, I, of course, you have to preface with, you know, mine's not that good. <gasps> mine's Dusty Live Oak. I like that. I like that one. It's like an Oregon porn star. Dusty and and there's wood. wood. Except it was Southern California. (laughs) Well, it could be in the No one needs to know that. Dusty and snowy. I like that. But there's lots of things in Southern California. Moving on. I don't know. Dusty live oak. That's pretty good. Because what I need is another alias. Yeah. Trying to figure out which pets first. I think I end up with Shadow Patterson. <laughs> Shadow Patterson. <laughs> Seriously? At least, Seriously. That's very good. At least Shadow no one lived on a numbered Patterson. street, so it's not like yeah. anyone. Yeah. Well, I mean, well like, they yeah. Yeah. Now, they changed my Sparky street to a number. Yeah. No, they changed my street to a number, so <laughs> that I have to use the original street name, not yes. the numbered street. And it is. Oh, oh, is that my cue? No, I'll yes, go. Do you your... want to go or do you want me to go? You go. Mine would be, and it's it's very tame, but it would it does sound like a porn star. Ginger Shields. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah that one's good. In fact, I think there was a Ginger <laughs> Shields porn star at one point, I'm sure. Fact, we named our dog Ginger just so she would have that. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Nice work. He said, that they Dad. Named, he said that they named the dog Ginger just so I would have the, the porn name Ginger Shields. I think people will reference this podcast just to get the whole family thing and go, oh, that's why. These people are screwed up. Yeah. They're crazy. Oh, God. Oh, the first crazy. Google hit for Ginger Shields is an attorney. <laughs> Does, very, never mind. Yeah, exactly. All right, Dr. Normal, share with us your porn name, and then we're going to have to wrap it up. Sexy Law. Sexy I, Law? What? For realsies? I am oh, okay. Fluffy Cedar Crest. <laughs> <laughs> Another cross-dresser. <laughs> No, just a fluffer. I, yes, I leave, leave it to Dr. Normal to be the fluffer. <laughs> Fluffy Cedar Crest, yes. That's, That's you, awesome. Dr. Normal. Yeah. Um, on that beautiful note. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. We got nowhere to go from Fluffy Cedar Crest. <laughs> the air is thin. We've expended they, but, our porn names. It, 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 we've been here for an hour, Dr. But they, Normal. But they did change the, the, the street to 64th. So, I mean, it's At least like, it wasn't Fluffy you know. 69th. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. I never thought of that. I, I thought I, you were yeah. losing people before. I think we gotta yeah. say goodnight. Yeah. <coughs> All right. Everybody say okay, goodnight. Okay. Well, well, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Let's make polite conversation while he cues some music. We're not allowed to say goodnight because there's queuing to be done. And yes, exactly. We still yes. haven't got that down yet, do we? So, uh, what's your favorite movie? <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> As we extend the podcast, well, I just don't want to. I don't want to talk for too long because you know we we've, we've got an yeah, hour no. here. But I'm going to drink out of my coffee movie? mug. What's your favorite movie, Reed? Uh, I don't know what my favorite movie is. What kind of movies do How you, you like? Not now. How can you pick just one? Exactly. You can have three. Um, it's easy. What is it? Empire. Yeah, don't ask her. Yeah. She's a Star Wars nerd. It's not her fault. It's just the way she is. I mean, I love Star Wars too, but. Okay, what's your favorite movie, Candy Chaos? It, it varies from day to day. You see, yeah. <laughs> and right now it is? Just uh, Right now we, it's The we, Untouchables because I was talking about it last right. night and I haven't watched it in a while. We've done this, though. Just give us your top five. Just No, you, no it won't happen. You won't do it? Okay. <laughs> what's the last you. movie you watched? Thank you. What's the last movie you watched? Oh, there were bad movies on the plane coming back. See, I'm gonna actually, no, the, the last movie I watched was um actually back here in Portland. It was um Fanboys. Oh, yeah. Um, which is playing at Living Room Theaters, and Ooh. Kelly would appreciate. I in do. In deep, deep ways. I'm on the mailing um, list. Because it's... <laughs> it's about a bunch of Star Wars fans running across the country. Power yes. nerds. Power yes. nerds Power on a road trip. Oh, so it's like that, tra- and then never mind. Yeah. Oh, oh, that was, I like that. Yeah, we that was funny. We the watched. one with the Star Trek one? Yeah, the Star Trek. With Shatner? Tre- yeah, the Star Trek. This one also includes Shatner. 
Well, because everything has Shatner. Shatner's in this movie. Everything's better with Shatner. Are you excited about the that, new? But... Anybody excited about the new Star Trek movie? Oh yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Indeed. <clears throat> I was talking with someone last night. We think there must be a, a large tweet up for the new Star Trek movie. Cool. Yeah. And an IMAX. Yeah. 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 It's important. I think so. Yeah. Oh look, I'm afraid it's time to say goodnight. <laughs> I'm afraid it is. I'm afraid the music has been cued. Can, Reed, can, it was can, really can, wonderful to have you join us. Yeah, thank you very much for having us. But look, he's playing that music. We he have is, to stop talking. We have to stop talking, but I don't know if we're going to. Or not. I don't know. I'm just he not. He can never sure. stop talking. Yeah. Yeah. All right, everybody. It was wonderful to have you here. Yes. It was Even great. Though the air is thin. It's a lot of thin. fun. Join us next week. Oh, you know we will. I, I fixed that. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Good night, everyone. Thank you to our beautiful studio audience. Yay. Thank you to all of you listening and watching. Sleep well. Sweet dreams. Yeah. Be safe out there. Uh, you know, leave a comment on our blog with your porn star name. Yeah. Oh, there We'd you go. We'd love yeah. to hear it. Or tweet at us. Or tweet at us. Yeah. Tweet a, tweet tweet a, at Strange Love Live your porn star name so that we know. We might do something with it in the future. It could be. Maybe. Yeah. Like hashtag porn star name. Yes, yes. <laughs> you know. Hashtag porn star name. Ruin your lives. Make something. that happen. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody, get on it. <laughs> All right. Have a great weekend. Uh, Sunday at whatever. Sunday, six o'clock at Muddy Waters on Belmont. It's the Get Naked for a Cause we'll be calendar there. signing party. We'll oh. be there signing calendars. Bye bye. Good night. <laughs>